long ago, when light and darkness still bore life. The goddess emerged from the light, and an entity known as the Vile God burst forth from the darkness. battle ensued between the deities. The light tore the darkness to shreds. Darkness corroded the light. And eventually, both sides lost their spark of life. And so, the goddess and the vile god fell into a deep, eternal slumber, like a dying star emitting a final burst of light before imploding into darkness. Rocks! I get free. In fact, I want to retire here. Idiot! Stealing food in this town is a serious crime. You'll be punished with a hundred sharp slaps on your wrist. Your hands will get so swollen that you won't be able to move them anymore. That's fine. Just means I'll have an excuse not to wash my face. I'm awestruck by your stupidity. How are you supposed to eat if you can't move your hands? Good point. Let's get out of here. I'm tired. You're gonna have to carry me the rest of the way. Huh? What are you talking about? You haven't even walked ten steps yet! Prison life has made me soft and weak. Now stop complaining and just carry me already. Quit messing around! You've only been locked up for three days! Stop talking back to me all the time, you stuck-up fairy. I'm the master here. You should be thankful that I'm even trusting a fairy with my amazing body. Slave, got it? Fencers and fairies are equal. Remember that. Now be quiet. I put the guards to sleep with my magic. Let's hurry up and get out of here before they wake up. <laughs> I guess I've got no choice. <sighs> Why did I get stuck with someone like him as my partner? Man, I'm starving. I wish someone would donate me some bread. How's it going? You're not from around these parts, are you? <laughs> Is that obvious, huh? Hey, what's the deal with that sword? Oh, that? That's a fury, one of those old fairy weapons. That sword's been stuck there since before this town was built. Occasionally some foolhardy guy will swagger up to that sword to try to pull it out, but so far no one's managed to do it. Gotcha. Does something cool happen if you pull it out? Who knows? Every kid knows the legend, though. If you wield a fury, 
any wish you desire will be granted. Tell you what, if you're feeling confident, why don't you try pulling out that sword? I see. If it grants any wish, then I could wish for it. Give me some food. I am the life that resides in the fury you hold in your hand. Well, what's your name? I'm Fang. Give me some food. Nice to meet you, Fang. That sword belongs to you now, and with it, my power is yours as well. From this day forward, you are now a fencer. You're going to help me collect the furies. Hey, wait a minute. I shut my mouth and let you give your little spiel? But this is where I draw the line. A fencer? No one decides my fate except me. Now, hurry. Fencers are sword specialists who fight to collect the furies. That sword in your hand is just one fury out of a hundred. If you gather all the furies and revive the goddess who has been sealed away with the vile god, your wish will be granted. What the hell? That's not what I was told. You're a fraud. I thought I just had to yank out this damn sword. Not at all. That's just the beginning. Now come, young fencer. Let's begin our wondrous adventure together. No. Huh? What was that? I said no. I don't want to be a fencer. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Just thinking about collecting 100 weapons. formed an unbreakable bond with me, so don't say such hurtful things! An unbreakable bond? I'll break any bonds I want. Later. Wait a second! The one who pulls out this sword is destined to revive the goddess with me! Good story, but I don't take orders from anyone. I'm the one who decides my fate. Just because you pulled out that sword? Just how naive are you? I didn't steal it. I just thought it was a free sample. I should have just pawned the sword for some cash instead. You're terrible! The Fury chose you! Don't you know what that means? And the Fury has a super cute fairy living inside, instead of some old man or weird creature. You should be thrilled right now. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Oh no! It's the guards! They found you! Yeah, thanks to you screaming at the top of your lungs. All right, fairy. There's only one option. As your master, I order you to sacrifice yourself to... How many times do I have to tell you? I'm your partner. We're in this together. Now come on, fight! Use me, Fang. Use the power of the fury. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I guess I've got no cho-
a damn sword! These guys still outnumber me! I'm not a regular sword, you know. You can do powerful attack combos and dominate your opponents. That's it? Seriously? That's nothing special. <laughs> I'm a fairy, remember? That means you can use me to cast magic. What? Magic? You should have said so before. Monkfish foie gras roasted meat? That's the stuff I want to eat! Come on, food! What are you doing? It's not that kind of magic. It's attack magic, got it? Use that. Ah, it's not useful at all. What are you talking about? Times like this are when it's most useful. Now let's go! Let's do this. It's not that surprising. I am pretty awesome. That's right! You've had potential as a fencer all along! Now let's get out of here before you attract any more guards! I'm sorry, remind me again who attracted your attention in the first place. <laughs> Awesome. 
Unbelievable. Get out of here. Stronger now. Stop 
resisting. Get ready. Next. Impossible. 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 Get out of here.
Fencer. Huh? Nope, not me. I just accidentally became her first, and now she's trying to hold me responsible. I'm basically a victim of fraud. Now's no time for joking around. I get the feeling this guy's the real deal. I came here to confirm reports of a Fury sighting, but I never expected it to come directly to me. I suppose fate demands that those who walk the path of the sword to meet in such a way. Hey, hold on! Did you hear anything I just said? Regardless, my search for the Fury is ended. Let us now trade life for death, and see who stands the strong- I'm telling you, I have no interest in all this Fencer stuff! To battle! This is freaking annoying! Let us begin. Executing shooting slash. Let's go, Aaron. Let us begin. Know your place. <laughs> Mess it up. What's with this guy? Is this the power of a fencer? There is nothing behind your blade. No resolve. No conviction. You are a fool to stand against me with such a blade. already made a fool of me once. I can't just run off with my tail between my legs. That doesn't matter. Just go. Listen to your fairy partner for once, would you? Hey, stop pulling on me. The boy is a poor fencer. Something about him caused my soul to tremble. But... Let go of my hand now. I can't believe you made us run off like that. I totally could have taken it. What's this? He's a veteran fencer. You don't even know how to fuse with your fairy. There's no way you were winning that fight. Yeah, well, whatever. Listen, I can tell you are upset that you lost. You want to fight like he does, right? Then accept me as your partner and let's go find the rest of the furies. What are you talking about? Don't tell me what to do next. Like I already said, I'm not interested in doing anything that sounds like a hassle. are gone? Yeah. I know that I have to revive the goddess, but I don't remember how I'm supposed to do that. So... So... Never mind. Just go already. Leave me alone. I must seem really annoying to you, huh? Well, this annoying little fairy won't bother you anymore. What? Just hurry up and go already. Listen, if 
if I fused with you, would I be able to use the same kind of power he did? You sure would! Well, it does piss me off that I wasn't able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I don't really give a crap about your goddess, but I suppose I could use your help until I paid that bastard back. So you're saying... I'm saying I'll become your partner. See? You really are a nice guy after all. But I do have one condition. Condition? <laughs> I guess some of those guards are still alive. Friggin' persistent. Impossible! That was nothing. 